guys, it's Peter from Build a Boeing. This uh, video is an update, uh, a status on the cockpit as of uh, January 2015. A lot of small things has been uh, done, but nothing so important that it could uh, justify a solo video. But now I'm just making one with all the small things that I've been up to lately in the last like three or four or five months. So let's just begin at the top. I've been uh, mentioning this cardboard roof over here before. Now I've made one on the other side as well. Uh, not with the eyebrow windows for now, that will come later. But um, it gives a very good, perhaps you can see it when I step outside the cockpit. It gives a very good feeling to the cockpit that it's, it is enclosed even though it's cardboard. It's just, it's very nice that you're actually feeling like you're inside the cockpit. On the other head panel, most of the uh, of the panels are actually now working, including this one. Um, and show the position at uh, 55 north, 12 e east is um, Copenhagen. This one is not working, this one is not working yet. These two yet, they will later. And the navigation panel over there is probably going to be the last one I'm, I'm going to make. I've also made gauges, as you can see here and um, here. Here is a dual gate with the pressure. Over here is a dual gate uh, gauge with the uh, uh, cabin pressure. I don't know why that's uh, there's a difference there in the pressure, but never mind. And uh, this one are also working. And as you might be able to see here, they are backlit, which is just looking so good when uh, flying at night that you're able to um, to see the gauges and uh, they give a very good uh, ambient feeling to to the cockpit. For cover here, I've used a uh, piece of plexiglass that I've cut and then painted. Um, not optimal solution, you can see here the edges are not all that good. I actually, after I made it, I bought uh, something similar to what I've used up here, that I'd like to show you. It's a uh, photo filter for, 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 for camera. UV filter of 55 millimeters. Just works very well. A few dollars, glass in front. You can paint this grey if you want. And down here on this gauge I have a 72mm filter laying around, but I don't know if I'm gonna get around installing it. I should, but you know, other things are more important than... It's working, so it's okay. Apart from that, as I said, mentioned, most of the cockpit, or um, almost all of the overhead is working, including this one as well, also a very neat uh, panel. Not that I use it that much, but it looks good. Uh, over here, um, I have, might have mentioned these earlier. I've made the uh, glare wings and a uh, glare shield here uh, covered, as you might actually be able to see on the video because I have, have the light on. It's um, wrapped in fake leather, which gives it a, a soft touch when you touch it. So it's, a, it's just very cool, um, very nice to touch. Uh, it gives a good feeling uh, when it's not wood, but actually is, uh, is something soft as feels as, as leather. Down here, uh, the other day, my friend Thomas came by and uh, he have, uh, has made a watch for me. Uh, it's not connected to Prosum, it's, uh, it's his own work. Uh, it has a watch up here that shows the time. Down there, there's a, there's a stopwatch. I'm not able to turn it on right now because I just installed it a few days ago. But I need so I need to get the buttons through here. But um, you can have a, a stopwatch, and uh, you can actually also dim dim it. Uh, Thomas is just so cool uh, with the uh, with electronics. So if you're flying um, radio control planes, RG planes, you should go visit his his shop. He has a lot of cool things that he made himself for um, radio control planes. What else? Uh, the pedestal. When Thomas came by the other day, uh, I had a panel, the Navigation 2 panel here, that wasn't working uh, very, very well. I had them loose connections, the encoder was loose, and uh, so I took it out and started uh, redoing it and it then I also redo this one and it, it I, I just ended up redoing this part of of, of the pedestal more or less all panels have been uh, remade uh, new knobs here um bigger 
better because they're bigger. And there's still you turn to change the integer or whole number and then you push down, hold and then turn to change the decimal. What works in SO, my SOC and um, saves me from buying a dual encoders which are a fortune. But while I was making this overhead I thought why not make the weather radar as well. That's a new feature in the ProSim. You can see it up here. And uh, now it's all red because I've uh, turned the grain to, to maximum. But uh, weather radar. So uh, this is now working. This one up here also working. Pretty cool. Not that I'm probably ever going to use it, but it's there. Cellcal has been uh, made to work as well. And uh, when I push here, and I can turn it off again. Has no function, it's just coded in SIOC to give uh, fuel into the cockpit or it. Call it whatever you want. Not that it's realism because it's not working, but it's, it's there, right? Down here, I've just turned down the lights a bit. Uh, it's not the lights you can see here. When I turn this one, there's an LED going from left to right. I know this is not the way it's working, uh, actually working. Uh, this just be a spring loaded return and then this should move but this is just an, uh, a rotary switch connected directly to LED it's not coded in any way, hardwired but again it gives a feel to the cockpit that there's something happening when you push the buttons this one down here is the cabin door unlocked uh, and you might be able to see the door here closing now and so when it close, closes I will as you can see here, there, the light goes off, when I open the door again, the light goes on. Again, not coded, just directly, uh, switches, LEDs, well, no, actually this is coded. Uh, there's a switch in the door that goes and is uh, registered in this AOC and then if the switch is um, pushed, the light goes out, coded in the SOC. Up here, something I also want to show you. Sebastian in Poland sent me uh, some uh, monitors, old laptop monitors, and uh, thanks to him I now have a lower iCAD screen. Uh, unfortunately I need an extra computer or at least an extra graphic card to uh, make it work. So right now there's a screen that's unused but it's installed, it's ready. I just need to make a frame like this to make it look a bit more real. But it's there, it's ready to go, I just need to connect it to some sort of computer. I think I've shown the uh, CDU FMC before. I might also have showed you early on that I have bought a uh, thermal printer, a um, receipt printer. I'd just like to show you what it can do. Here, this is an add-on for uh, ProSim that you can, if you use ProSim, can use. In here I bought Topcat, um, pro, the program, um, a few months ago. You can click Topcat, take off, then we are here in Copenhagen. Uh, you need to pre-enter these things, you press request, and then there's an VHF in progress. There's an uplink, and now we can see the page here with uh, speeds, different things. You can press print and when I do that down here in the printer I mean wow that's just so neat. Let's see if you can if you can see this. Cool, isn't it? I think so. Most importantly however, <laughs> latest addition to the cockpit is the outside view. I bought a projector, a um, short throw projector a few days ago and installed it this night, just, just tonight. And uh, this is just amazing. This is just sitting here in the cockpit like this, having the entire wall filled with the, with the picture from, uh, from Flight Simulator. It's just amazing. Here we are now in Copenhagen. Let's see if we can look, look right. Wonderful scenery by Fly Tampa and um, it just gives a fantastic feeling to have it uh, to have a two meter wide picture instead of that small monitor I had before. I bought a used monitor 
Sanoi PLC XE2040, I think. It's that orange thing up there, you know. If you see a picture, you're, you're, you're gonna recognize it right away. Um, 100 pounds on eBay. Still got 800 hours left on the lamp, so it's gonna be a lot of hours of fun left in that one. I'm very happy with this pr projector. It just gives a whole, take, takes the simulator to a whole new level. So I think it's time for me to um, celebrate this with a beer and uh, go for a flight. You guys take care. Bye bye.